Receiving gold bullion through the post. It's fair to say no one ever has felt particularly comfortable with that. But it seems it's the way forward and it's the way things are going. So the question lies, are there easier ways to get your precious metals delivered to you? Hello future investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. Today's video is all about gold bullion and receiving it in the post. I've had a few experiences myself over the years regarding bullion and getting it through the post. It's definitely an awkward situation. I'll give you a couple of examples. So when I usually receive bullion or in the past, I've had to send bullion to maybe a a, a channel member winner, for example, or back to Tavex bullion. I have been asked multiple times what is in the package and I always find it very, very awkward to say, oh, it's gold bullion. You know, maybe it's a one ounce gold Britannia, only worth about £1,600. You know, telling that to a complete stranger is certainly something I'm not particularly comfortable with. And I think to myself, are there ways I can get around not telling them what's in there? But at the end of the day, if you don't tell them, if it goes missing, will that item be insured for that, you know, for the package that's got the gold in? It's a good question. And I've had a particular moment before where I actually was posting a package and I believe it was the owner of the shop somehow figured out that every now and then I do post some gold bullion. And he actually asked me the question, do you sell gold? And it caught me so off guard because I hadn't even said what was in the package. And I must say, it made me feel rather uncomfortable. So when it comes to actually receiving bullion in the post, do I worry? No, not really. I mean, I've never actually worried that if my precious metals get lost in the post, that I wouldn't get refunded for them. At the end of the day, if you're buying direct from a bullion dealer, a reputable source, they're going to have insured delivery, not only for themselves, but for the package they're posting. So I've never been particularly worried about that. But I have had people in the past who I've spoken to about investing in gold bullion in person, and their main concern has always been, but what happens if the postman opens up the parcel or the parcel doesn't get delivered? And I've simply reiterated the fact that all bullion dealers will have insurance on their bullion and every package will be tracked and signed for. No precious metal parcel that's being sent to a value of, you know, a quarter ounce gold Britannia like we've got here or even up to one ounce gold Britannias. They won't be sent from anything other that's not tracked and signed for delivery. So I don't think you need to worry when it comes to receiving bullion in the post because if it simply doesn't turn up to you there are parameters around protecting the buyer i think there's a bigger question in it that lies being what do you do once you receive it storage is absolutely key isn't it when it comes to precious metals the biggest thing is obviously not telling people that you have bullion in the first place but sometimes that's easier said than done especially when you're someone who's so passionate about investing and of course human nature is to tell people things. We want to tell people of our successes and our passions and our hobbies. And sometimes one simple mistake can lead on to another. And before you know it, far too many people know. Having said that, if you've got great security features, different locations, great storage facilities, then you can really protect yourself against that. I mean, a lot of precious metal stackers will have multiple locations for their precious metals. Some of them won't even have them on site or even all of it in the same location. You can have a simple thing such as a very, very good safe that's bolted to the floor and bolted to the wall. You know, you want a highly rated one or you could have a very, very secure and discreet location that a burglar or somebody who's looking for something that they shouldn't be are going to find it very hard to find. I know averagely in the United Kingdom, home burglaries actually take around eight minutes. So I think the simple idea is if you can make the object you're trying to protect harder to access or harder to find in eight minutes or more, then your chances are increasing dramatically for protecting those particular precious metals. Now, of course, you can insure your precious metals, although I know some, some home insurance companies, at least in the United Kingdom, are a bit funny about insuring bullion. 
I think if you do have a specific high rated safe, that's going to help your chances. You know, if we're talking about a fire rated safe and a safe that has a guaranteed protection value of, let's say, up to £4,000 in cash, and normally it's 10 times that, so £40,000 in valuables, the home insurance is going to be much more likely to protect that bullion. But we're kind of getting off topic here. I mean, it all kind of delves into it, doesn't it? Receiving it in the post, sending it, storing it, securing it. It's all part of the same thing. And I think when it comes to gold bullion, it's a fantastic investment. We know it preserves your wealth. It hedges against inflation. It increases greatly year by year. We know you know, gold has been around for over 4,000 years. And historically, a great way to predict the future is to look at the past. And I think if gold has been around for such a long time, the chances of it being around for the rest of our lifetimes is rather high. And I think the price is also got a great chance of increasing year by year, at least in the next few decades. So overall, gold is a great investment, but there are some issues to it. It's obviously a tangible asset. You have to secure it. You have to firstly make sure you receive it. You have to make sure that the package you're sending is insured, tracked and signed for. You have to store it. You have to protect your investment. And that comes with all investments. But I feel like gold as a commodity, a precious metal, takes precedent over obviously index funds and stocks, shares, property, because it's something that is a lot more risky when it's a tangible asset that you hold. But overall, it doesn't take away anything from gold for me. I love it. I love the fact that I own it. I love the fact that it's secure and it's a fantastic wealth preservation device. I think as time goes on, more and more people are becoming aware of precious metals, specifically gold, as a capital preservation device. I think YouTube and the openness of social media has definitely made it more apparent to new investors in more recent years. Me personally, my very first investment was in gold. So I kind of probably started in the old fashioned traditional way of investing, buy intangible bullion. Then I moved on to index funds and, and property and that sort of stuff. But generically, I think gold's becoming very, very popular and I can see it getting even more popular going forward, which is great for the current investor and for the future investor. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a bit of a breakdown today on sending and receiving gold in the post and storing and securing your tangible precious metals. Overall, we love gold as an investment. We know it's a wealth preservation device. It hedges against inflation and you just can't really be a bit of gold in your investment portfolio. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you in the very next episode. Well, thank you for staying till the very end of the episode. I really appreciate your valuable time. For that, I just wanted to let you know about my channel membership here on YouTube. You can join the exclusive club by becoming a premium future investor. We've got a fantastic amount of people and club members in our exclusive club as of now. And I must say it's great fun. Not only do you get priority reply to all of your comments on YouTube, but you also get exclusive behind the scenes content. Most recently, I did a full investment portfolio reveal. That's right, I included everything from my precious metals, my cash savings, my property and my index funds. So if you are wanting to see exclusive behind the scenes, joining that club is possibly a great venture for you. Not only that though, but you do also get automatic entry every single month into fantastic gold and silver and precious metal prize giveaways. So for your chance to be entered, join the exclusive club and come and say hello. It's a fantastic place to be, and I really hope to see you there.